Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here visiting my aunt's house. You can definitely tell this is not my home due to the extremely large cat tower. <laughs> this is a video all about how to get a flat tummy with a big booty. And a lot of girls don't understand why doing exercises over and over and over again cannot get them the results that they're looking for. I have a couple of secrets that I would like to share with you that I know have personally worked with me and with several of my clients, and that if you want an hourglass shape, small waist, big booty, you need to follow these rules. Number one, you have to eat protein. So many of my clients think that they can get a big butt as long as they work out, work out, work out, lift, 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 do those squats, do those reps. However, you're not going to get a big butt unless you're eating enough protein. This is complete protein. If you flex your butt, this is hard as a rock. This did not come from eating cakes or sugar. This came from eating enough protein in every single one of my meals. I have a rule for all of my clients that they have to eat at least, at least one protein source in each of their main meals throughout the day. This is so important because it will help you sustain your hunger throughout the day so that way you don't eat all this junk food later on. If you want to build your butt, you have to do butt strengthening exercises. Butt building and butt strengthening exercises is what is going to give you that nice little curve. That is not going to be from fat, that is going to be from muscle. If you eat fat, you don't know where the fat is going to disperse throughout your body. So building a booty requires you to do strength conditioning and lifting. I build my butt doing a number of different exercises. I love doing cardio, running, step ups, donkey kicks, and a variety of other strength conditioning workouts. I will also be posting a video coming up about what exercises I do routinely in order to build. In order to get a flat tummy, you need to watch what you eat in the kitchen. I eat a lot of different things. However, I hardly ever eat refined sugars and also fried foods. I think those are two of the most unhealthy things that you can eat. I always try to go for really good whole grains, good fats, fruits, vegetables, and lots of protein. Eat more carbs. I know, it sounds crazy, right? So many of my clients swear against carbs and they will not eat carbs ever when they are going on a diet. I highly advise against doing this. Carbs are not the enemy, especially if you're eating whole grain ones. They have to be, you know, healthy carbohydrates, Go for the oats, go for whole grains, go for quinoa, amaranth, etc. Make sure you read your labels and make sure you know where your carb source is coming from. Do not eat enriched white grains. That is the negative carbohydrates that people talk about. Carbs are not bad. You need to eat carbs in order to give your body the energy that it needs to be able to go and do the workouts that you need to do in order to get a butt. If you want to get a butt, you're going to have to work out. Unfortunately, that is what it requires. It requires weightlifting because it is a muscle. So if you don't eat the carbs that your body needs, you're going to be starving yourself and you need, and then you'll end up, you know, binging out on things that are not healthy for you, such as sugars or enriched white breads, etc. So make sure you eat healthy carbs throughout the day, sprinkled in with the rest of your protein and vegetables and fruits. Number three, exercise. I know, I know, so many people hate exercising. However, it does not have to be hard. There are so many ways that you can get exercise and build your gluteus maximus in a way that you do not mind doing, such as you can do walking, you can do step ups on the stairs, you can do a series of strength conditioning workouts, or if you wanna speed along and get the maximum results as possible, you can do weightlifting. So there's a ton of different ways to build a butt naturally, and it all depends on how fast you want the progression to take. I'm going to be uploading videos to show you guys different sets of exercises and the different amounts of time that it would take to build a butt using those exercises. But again, you will have to exercise and movement is key. Always be moving, no matter what. And this comes down to such simple little things. So for instance, 
If you live on the third floor of your apartment, opt to take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. That is such a simple thing that you can do. And that automatically builds your booty when you are walking up that staircase. What are you working when you walk up? You are working the butt when you are walking up the steps. Or say that you're going to the store. The store is 0.3 miles away. Instead of driving, walk to the store. You're gonna be getting an arm workout walking back with your bags. There's such simple little things that you can do all throughout the day and incorporate into your everyday routine where you're able to get your exercise without even having to go to the gym. Do not be afraid of healthy fats. Avocados, nuts, olive oil. There are so many different healthy fats out there. Healthy fats do not have high levels of saturated fat. They are very healthy for you. I also try to incorporate healthy fats throughout every single one of my main course meals. Number five eat your fiber. It is so, so important that you eat fiber because it will keep you sustained longer throughout the day. You're not going to be starving and be uncomfortable and then eat all this crap or candy or, you know, sugars, all this other stuff. And it's going to give you energy and keep you going and being able to be active and doing the exercises that you need to do. So many of these topics wrap into one common theme of not to be afraid of certain food groups and make sure to incorporate certain types of foods throughout your everyday routine. So that is my tips and tricks on how to get a small waist and a big booty. I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please put a thumbs up if you liked it. Also leave a comment below if there's anything else that you would like to see and make sure to check out some of my workout videos coming up.